like here so that it just sort of abstracts your body so that this becomes a stand-in. Okay. And then just sort of keep on doing it and, and we'll do like one long shot of that. When you need to bring it down, it's like slowly controlled, obviously. In my practice, I'm always questioning what is dance. And I think about dance in the form of labor, that what are we doing even in the spaces of stillness? We're still laboring. So in this, I'm actually getting them to do very routine gestures that a ballet dancer would understand. But in that, they're still creating motion. They're still creating something that, as an audience member, we are watching, we're taking in, we're interpreting, and also enjoying. For me, masks become this sort of oscillating object where you can hide one's identity or create identity. I guess for me too, within this exhibition, I'm curious about the ideas of hierarchies, hegemonies, and I'm trying to disrupt the institutions. Ballet is something that was part of the French court. It was a way that nobility bowed to the hierarchy within the royal court. And within that to the museum system, the way that we interact, the way that we choreograph our own bodies. When we walk through a museum space, we have a certain way that we have to present ourselves. So within this, I'm trying to create a way to disrupt those systems. And I'm using that through ballet, through the use of objects that were removed from their place of origin. Many African objects were removed by the French and brought into the Western context. And that all speaks to the idea of a mixed unknown identity, which for me, being Kenyan, Canadian, Indian, living in the United States kind of speaks to my own identity. So the mask becomes an analogy to speak to my own sense of self.